the game in high school top 20, will say the day we have eternal father, strong to say, to honor our active military veterans, first responders, and to remember our fallen service men and women.
You may be seated. My name is Matt. My name is Master of Ceremony for the Global Sporting and Ceremony of State Representative Elect John Cross. This is a fine, fine day for our community and, in my opinion, for the 83rd District. We have a next generation leader that is prepared to take us into uh, a new era and a new day for our district and our community. It's a pleasure to welcome all of you here to our beautiful courthouse. And in my opinion, and I know I may be biased, this has to be one of the most beautiful courthouses in the state of Ohio. And who knew that the sound quality would be what it was from our choir and all of you. That being said, we would like to say a hearty thank you and a warm appreciation to the Kenton Top 20 and the Kenton Army JROTC for the presentation of colors and for the songs that they're sharing with us today. Today marks the beginning of the end of the beginning for our campaign that started almost three years ago. It's been a pleasure to serve. It's been a pleasure to meet new people in northern Logan County and all across Hancock County and many new people that I didn't know in Hardin County. I thank John for the opportunity to do that. I appreciate his faith that, uh, that myself and our team, Cole Buckingham, Chase Fleece, Sage Rose, and many, many, many others, including John's family, uh, would have the ability to get this accomplished. And so today, I say thank you to John, and we will now have the oath of office by Judge Barry. Friends, we're happy to have you here today. I'm proud to have this opportunity to do this as Judge of the Court of Common Pleas of Hardin County. Um, I agree with what you were just told, is this is one of the most magnificent courthouses in the state, and certainly one of the best preserved ones. Our county commissioners for 102 years have taken care of this building, and one of those county commissioners is Jerry Cross, who's smiling down upon this event, probably so excited and so proud uh, that his interest in the welfare of the people of Hardin County, Ohio, and the welfare of the people of, of the state uh, is being pursued by his son, so it must be so exciting. Probably a lot of you aren't surprised that I know what the acoustics in this courthouse are because I often sing at night. <laughs> if you think they're good down here, you should go up on the top floor and sing. Absolutely beautiful. So it's an exciting day uh, for us all. Uh, as I agree with what Matt said, that the, another generation of Hardin County ICE is going to be serving. It's been a long time since Hardin County has presented the, right, the representative to the state. Uh, so it's exciting for me, with my interest in the background of this community uh, and the politics of this community, to have the opportunity to swear you in, John. So. Raise your right hand, say, I pronounce your name in full, and repeat the explanation. I, John Christopher Cross. In the presence of Almighty God and His witnesses, in the presence of Almighty God and His witnesses, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, to support the Constitution of the United States of America, to support the Constitution of the United States of America, and the Constitution of the Great State of Ohio, and the Constitution of the Great State of Ohio, and that I will faithfully discharge and perform, Faithfully discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties incumbent upon me, as a member of the Ohio House of Representatives, as a member of the Ohio House of Representatives, representing the 83rd district, representing the 83rd district, according to the best of my ability and understanding, according to the best of my ability and understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Please. What a good looking group, what a great group here this morning. Glad we got that done. Uh, that was probably the most famous part. Uh, good afternoon. And uh, to all my family, friends, elected officials, and community members, Christina and I uh, would like to thank you for joining us today. With some traveling as near as the first, second, and third floor of the courthouse, and some traveling as far as Nevada, New Jersey, and North Carolina. Welcome to Kenton, Ohio, for our hometown swearing in ceremony. I'd just like to give my thanks to a few people who made today possible. First, I'd like to thank our Harvey County Commissioners, 
uh, to allow us to use this beautiful courthouse as the setting for today's ceremony. And like many courthouse communities, these beautiful and historic buildings are the symbol of our community. We are their temporary guests and caretakers, and I'm proud to work with the many people who work in them. Thank you, Judge Barrett, for administering the oath of office today. Thank you to the Kenton High School Army JROTC for presenting the colors. And as an alum of the Kenton High School Top 20 and A Company, I'm proud to have this talented choral group with us today. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Pastor Jerry Cook, who will soon provide the blessing for today's event. I'd like to thank my Transition Committee Vice Chair, Cole Buckingham, uh, for his continued support and many talents to assist us with all the activities in preparation for this weekend leading up to the opening day session on Monday. And I'd like to give a special thank you to my friend, Matt James. Matt, thank you for your endless support and leading my campaign, transition committee, and swearing in activities. I would not be standing here today without your dedication, support, and friendship. Thank you very much. Let me introduce my family for all the guests that are here today. First, as a proud husband, I'm very lucky to have the love of my life as my best friend and my biggest supporter. Thank you, Christina, for your endless love you have given me, in addition to being a wonderful and dedicated mother, attorney, and educator. And as a proud father of two young boys, Carson and Connor, where are you boys at? Come on, come on up here, boys. Come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> They're not this shy at home. Uh, I think of you, Carson and Connor, and your friends and your classmates as the future of this community. All of us in this room are doing our own part in our own ways, big and small, to make sure your generation can love to live, learn, work, and prosper here in Northwest Ohio like we all have. I love you very much. I'd like to welcome back to Hardin County my father and mother-in-law, Dr. Charles and Marianne Paulieri, who are with us today from, uh, from Nevada. I am blessed to be a part of their wonderful family and appreciate their loving support. Thank you both for being here today. And I'd like to recognize and introduce my family with us today from North Carolina, and my brother, Jerry Cross Jr and his wife, Tina, sends her uh, best greetings from North Carolina. My sister, Jane Butler, and her husband, Rich, and son, Grant. My sister, Jacqueline Fitzgerald, and her husband, David. And my mother, Judy Cross. <laughs> Mama Judy is always loving, always supportive, and always there for me and our family. I know my father is proudly smiling down upon us today. Dad, thanks for the great weather. Um, my parents instilled upon me the important values of giving back to your community. And I appreciate them letting me chase my dreams and supporting my career pathways. Thank you, Mom. Just a few comments to conclude. A few weeks ago, I traveled to the State House for new member orientation. A wonderful time meeting with the freshman class of incoming legislators about 30 to 35 new members. And, uh, uh, and shortly upon my arrival, I met a gentleman by the name of John Cook, J-O-N, and uh, we both spell J-O-N, who works for the Ohio House of Representatives. I quickly learned that John is a Hardin County native and a 1982 graduate from Hardin Northern. I then quickly realized it was his grandfather, John J. O. H. M. Cook, who was the last person from Hardin County to serve in the state legislature in 1963 and 64. Now, since it has been some time, uh, 55 years to be exact, Christina and I wanted to bring the swearing in ceremonies and festivities back home to Hardin County in remembrance of Representative Cook. 
And during the orientation of a long walk the house floor the first time that week, it was awe-inspiring and a humbling experience. A feeling I hope that never goes away. And also a feeling of great responsibility in serving the nearly 120,000 people of Hancock, Hardin, and Logan counties that make up the 83rd district. You see, I believe in a citizen legislature with seats in the legislature not granted to any one person or to any one county, but to whomever can do their best to serve, to do their best to champion, and when times are tough and rough, to keep fighting for our hometown communities. And I want to thank our past state representatives, Robert Sprague, Cliff Height, Mike Gill, Charles Brady, Mike Oxley, uh, Representative Cook, John Cook, and many others for being champions at the State House. Now, by the way, Charles Brady, uh, may God rest his soul, is the person I job shadowed in middle school, B3. <laughs> After I returned back from a trip to Washington, D.C., inspired by public service and public servants. So, here we are today. Today is the kickoff of my journey to public service. But more importantly, today is about connecting communities. It's about bringing people together. And it's very neat that I know and I see in this audience today people from Hancock, Hardin, and Logan counties. And, uh, and today is about being a part of a unified team, affectionately now called Team 83. And you're all a part of that. So together, as we welcome Pastor Cook to give the closing prayer, let us renew our spirit to public service and a positive leadership and being committed to working together to keep Ohio safer, stronger, and open for business. I am deeply honored and humbled to serve the people who love to live, learn, work, and prosper in Hancock County, Hardin County, and Logan County. May God continue to bless the United States of America, the great state of Ohio, and the beautiful 83rd District. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. Will you please join me as we seek God's guidance and His blessing? Oh Lord, our God, we pray this afternoon for our friend John Cross. The work of campaigning may be over, but the work given to John and each of us to make a better society and create healthy relationships, even among those with differing opinions, is just beginning. We thank you, Lord, for blessing John with the profound loyalty he exhibits as he represents his constituents. In addition, Lord, continue to grant John the blessings of courage and courtesy that he will need at times when challenging the views of his colleagues. Lord, may John and all of his colleagues be aware of your presence as one of a voting delegate, an unseen but ever-present delegate in Ohio's House. Vote through John and each of our legislatures legislators, we pray, O oh Lord, that what they say and what they do may be in accordance with your will for this land and state that we love so much. As John faces the next two years, Lord, encourage him not to be overly anxious about the problems he will without doubt face, but encourage him to be mindful that you have placed him, you have placed him where he is at this time in his life, to be a part of the answers to those problems. May John and his colleagues be so effective in Ohio's House of Representatives that those who observe their government will experience a renewed faith in a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And Lord, put your arms around John's family, his wife Christina, his sons Carson and Connor, his mother Judy, his sisters Jacqueline and Jane, and his brother Jerry. We ask, Lord, that you place a hedge around them to keep them from worries caused by the sometimes insensitive actions and remarks that seem quite often to accompany those closest to a public figure. Finally, Lord, may our state representative elect and friend, John Cross, as he takes his rest at the end of those trying days of debate and legislative effort, hear from you these words. Well done, 
good and faithful servant. In the strong name of Jesus, we make this prayer. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. You may have us on the back of your programs that words to Carmen in Ohio. And so as a special treat to John as an alumnus of the Ohio State University, and in honor of our great state, the Ken Top 20 will now sing Carmen in Ohio, and please feel free to join in.